back. We're on to a very special segment of the show where we do a makeover. Now, if you do a makeover, someone is about changing their their look, their the makeup, their fashion style, maybe making over their life. Who knows what's in store, right? So today, Rebecca, the person sitting next to you is David. Hi, David. Hi. Welcome to the show. Now, you are a friend of the person we're doing a makeover for. Her name is Phyllis. So, David, tell us how long you've known Phyllis. I've known her since 2002. And um, when I first met her, um, she came across to me as a very spunky girl, mm -hmm. full of life, uh, despite her circumstances. She has never uh, once mourned or complained about wow. why it happened to me. That is yeah. very, very cool. Correct. Now, what exactly are we talking about? This is something that you got to watch and understand why this makeover is so special. Let's take a look. Now imagine having a stroke at the prime of your life at the age of 29 and then going to a coma only to wake up weeks later to start life all over again. So let's go in and meet Phyllis, the strong woman who feels that fashion and beauty is right now not a priority in her life. Hi Phyllis, thank you for allowing us to come into your home, right? <laughs> So let's talk about what you do remember. Since you've been up from the coma, how has life changed for you? At first, it was very difficult. I kept asking, why me? Why must it happen to me? But now, on high side, I think I have reached the bottom so it can Oh yeah, better and better and yes. Thank you. I'm I'm getting really emotional with this. Um, what gives you the strength? Don't know. I yes, I'm just stubborn. I'm glad you are stubborn, <laughs> and I'm glad you know you're pulling through all this. So let's talk about you. Today I came in and I, and I saw you and I was like. This woman knows how to take care of herself, right? Because you're wearing the spot on trend right now, which is the, the short sleeve turtleneck, right? How do you shop for this? I buy whatever is cheap and whatever I think will look good together. Okay, so you don't follow fashion, you don't follow style? No. It has to be comfort. Yes. You know what? I want to help you because you are going to be my inspiration. Okay, thank you. You have a lot of work to do. <laughs> well, there you go. That's Phyllis mm. and she has had a makeover. David, are you ready to see what she looks like Yes, now? I'm looking forward, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, first reactions, David. How do you feel? <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> is she the same woman I've known for the past 14 years? She looks fantastic. You yeah. look gorgeous, my darling. How do you feel about your new look? It's like waking up all of a sudden to be a princess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, and you've got tears in your eyes. How do you, how do you, um, how can you express yourself right now? How do you feel about this entire process? Don't know. <laughs> no words can express. How do you feel about your new hairstyle? I actually feel this is too young for me. <laughs> No way! You look good. You really look very, very good. Can I just say, I think that you carry off that purple very, very yes. well. Very well. Did you think that you could be able to pull off this kind of look? No. I thought I would look like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> David, how do you think, um, you know, Phyllis um, can carry on from here with this look? You see, I've always known her to be very beautiful inside. Mm. And now, she looks fantastic and wonderful outside as well. Oh, so it's awesome. best of both worlds. So let's go through, Marcus. What exactly was done for Phyllis here in this makeover? Well, I have to say, it, it really began from when I first met her. Mm. You know, I mean, her spirit was so present. Um, she knew exactly what she liked, what she didn't like. You know, she was, and she's very, don't think she's very quiet here. She's actually very, very vocal. And I'm sure David <laughs> <laughs> can, can agree with yeah, yeah. me, yeah. right? Um, when we 
went to the saloon and, and met with the stylist, we immediately knew we wanted a hairstyle that would represent her. And the fact that she actually shared with us in the saloon that she actually likes the colour purple. Mm. So from there we said, you know what, let's bring in a bit of colour, bring up highlight, you know, Brilliant. that can represent who she is. I think it's subtle, it's so nice. Exactly, it's I love the hair and it's, it's going to be so easy for her to maintain it, right. right? I mean, everything that we put on her, it is really all about comfort, it's all about first free, you know, it's all about still being who she is. So do you think, Phyllis, you can carry on with this look? I think so. I like long skirts. How do you know? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> good. It's a trade secret. <laughs> well, this is a fantastic moment. Congratulations again, Phyllis. Well done. Seriously. The look truly matches your spirit now. Okay, awesome. And coming up, we have a very special segment because Vanetta's Vibes, brought to you by Style by Style, has its own little bucket list of sorts. So that's something that we're trying to achieve and I really hope that you can join us on this journey. And the first step comes up right after the break. So stay with us. Thank you so much, guys. Well done. You look great.